Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature. Spring is just around the corner and so is St. Patrick's Day on March 17th. When we think of St. Patty's Day, we tend to think of all things green. So here at the museum's research and collections, we thought it'd be fun to show you a few of our favorite green specimens. This is a Quetzal from uh, Central America. It's a specimen from our collection that uh, is about 100 years old. But as you can see, the color is still uh, quite good. It's one of the reasons is because the color of uh, these birds is not uh, created by pigments. It's uh, simply reflection of the light on the uh, barbs of the feathers. Although you see a lot of green beetles here, surprisingly, green is not a common color in the beetle world. Most beetles are actually a dull brown or black in color. These are jewel scarab beetles from the mountains of uh, Texas and Arizona. They're a beautiful, striking green color because it camouflages them when they sit in the leaves of the mountain forests where they live. In the mineral world, uh, almost all colors can be found. So these are examples of the green color we found in our collections. This, uh, this uh, green specimen is uh, showing some Vesuvianite from the Jeffrey mine in Quebec. This one, is a diaptase from uh, the Congo. I did this kind of green because its, its main constituent is copper. This emerald, a green barrel, is from Colombia, and its uh, chromium uh, is uh, caused a green coloration. And this is a new acquisition that we got from China. It's a paramorphite. So of course, when we think of the color green, the first thing we think about is plants. Here we have two different kinds of broom moss. Um, they grow on the floors of forests and on rocks. Uh, we have also some, um, some other specimens from different parts of Canada. So green is good because the green pigments that help plants make food also help them to make oxygen, which of course we love to breathe. And on the evening of March 17th, we're joining some other famous landmarks in the world by illuminating our beautiful Queen's Lantern in green as part of the Global Greening Initiative. Thank you for joining us for this Nature Scoop. Until next time.